news for fans of multivitamins. Uh, a new study from the University of Texas shows uh, daily use could cut your risk of developing cancer by about 8%. But what does that uh, mean for the uh, popular supplements? Does it mean that they're right for everyone? Well, we're going to ask an expert right now. Dr. Asil Saleh joins us now live with what you need to know about multivitamins. Good morning. Thank you very much Good for coming morning, in and talking Elizabeth. with us. So tell us about this, this study. Well, this is a very important study. It's a fairly large trial that was recently conducted where they looked at 15,000 male, Caucasian males, um, predominantly physicians over the age of 50. And they randomized them to um, multivitamin versus placebo. Mm -hmm. um, and they observed them over the course of 10 years. What they observed in the study is that there was a modest, and again, we emphasize modest, reduction in the risk, in the total risk of developing cancer, as you mentioned, 8%. Mm -hmm. um, it's a great study because it addresses a very important point, and that is, do we need to take a multivitamin once a day? Mm -hmm. you know, we do, as a population, um, a third of the U.S. population takes a multivitamin, and half of us over the age of 50 take multivitamin r routinely. So do we need to take that? Now, now here's a question for you. Now, we talked about taking the multivitamin. Is there an advantage, of, based on this study, taking the multivitamin versus taking, like, you know, one vitamin A, one mi vitamin C, one yes. vitamin D? Great question. Again, there have been multiple studies looking at individual vitamins and their uh, potential benefit in reducing the risk of cancer or reducing the risk of chronic illness. And those studies have been very uh, controversial. The results mm -hmm. have not really been... Um, uh, either positive or negative. Uh, the good news about this study is that it has not shown any severe adverse side, side effects from taking a multivitamin. Mm -hmm. However, you know, it's um, very important to emphasize that taking a multivitamin is not an alternative to a healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You know, about a third of cancers um, are related to our uh, lifestyle and our health habits. Um, exercising mm -hmm. is a very, very important factor. If we walk, or exercise half an hour a day, four to five times a week. So use it in combination with, don't just take the vitamin, absolutely, think everything's going to be okay. Absolutely, absolutely. Walking, exercising can drop your risk by 50% of mm -hmm. developing cancer, as opposed to this modest uh, potential risk of uh, drop of 8%. You know? Right. Now, now, this particular study was done with the, the, the people in the study were, were doctors. That's right. Are, aren't they already healthier than everybody else because they know some of the benefits of health? Excellent question. Um, yes, there may have been a little bit of a selection bias, as we mm -hmm. call it in, the, in, the, uh, uh, in research. Um, these are doctors. They're mainly um, middle-aged men, Caucasian. So they're already in a higher socioeconomic class, and they're already taking care of their health and habits. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, potentially they're a, a healthier population. So what you're bringing up is a very important point, and that is could we extend the results of this study to the general population, to, the, to those of us who are less well socioeconomically and um, women? Certainly this study could not be t um, extended to women either. All right. And there's also some good news, some other good news in this report as, as well about cholesterol levels and that sort of thing that, that we saw. Right. Um, in uh, a, a different study that was published by the Journal of American Me Medical Association yesterday, there was a trend in a reduction in cholesterol um, over the course of the last 22 years by about 10 milligrams. And that's actually very significant because we know that cholesterol and LDL cholesterol or bad cholesterol are both related to developing heart disease and strokes and so on. So drop of 10 milligrams to um, a level less than 200 is very significant. Um, the LDL or the bad cholesterol also dropped in this study um, over the course of 22 years or so. Mm -hmm. um, and those two observations are uh, really crucial. They point to the fact that this population might be getting healthier in the, the sense uh, there might be a few um, issues that we have instituted such as eliminating trans fats from our diet. Right. Okay. Um, uh, redu reduction in consumption of carbohydrates and so on. Yeah. Okay. Well, as always in health, the studies keep going and we continue to do more work in trying to reveal what's going on with this. Uh, Dr. Soleil, thank you very much. She is with Fox Hall right. Internist. Thank you very much for coming in and talking My with pleasure. us. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Tony, back over to you. All right. Thank you very much.